Hey, Melissa Hostetler here with Go 180 Fitness. Thank you so much for taking a minute out of your busy day to learn a little bit more about the gym. Go 180, the G-O stands for girls only. 180 is making your turn, that 180 degree turn that we all need in our mindset, in our bodies, in our spiritual health, and just making those changes to get to better nutrition, get to a better self. We are a completely private gym, all girls, one-on-one, -on -one, one at a time. And we focus on getting strong and moving smart. Um, our training brings in mobility work, balance, flexibility, strength. Uh, we're looking for using all the different modalities so that we don't get bored in our workouts. So I like to do weightlifting, floor work, battle ropes, uh, balance work, agility ladder, fitness boxing, medicine balls, cables, bands, barbells, dumbbells, pull-ups, dips, push-ups, Turkish get-ups, my favorite, running form. All of those things, and if that sounds intimidating to you or new, let me just encourage you, if you can get into my gym and sit in a chair, you can do a workout of Go 180. Because all of those exercises are very modifiable, all the way down to a seated position, um, or let's just say a barbell, which weighs 45 pounds, is not something that you could pick up. We start way back at a broomstick, and then we move to a five pound bar, and then we move to a 10 pound bar, and move up from there. So learning form can happen no matter what your starting strength is and what your condition is. I like to say we got to work around the old lady parts. We all have them. They come from our life. You know, I've had C-sections and plantar fasciitis and back problems and you maybe have had knee issues or hip pain or shoulder problems or surgeries. We all have things that are our own parts that we have to work with and that's why personal training is so important. You are bringing rehab and therapy and learning weightlifting and learning strength training, putting those things together so that you can have a happy, healthy body and be a better, stronger you. Um, I graduated from Kent State in Ohio in 99. It's hard to believe it's that long ago now. And I've worked a variety of places in nursing um, since that time. I worked med surge, I worked emergency room, family clinics, and we moved here to Wilmington about 13 years ago at this time of recording. And I started working in OBGYN, all women's health. And that has further grown my interest in specifically helping ladies. Guys and ladies, thank God, are different beings. And we train differently. But it's important that you get training in some way. Because as the body ages, <clears throat> I have found, it becomes more and more important to train. Because the fat comes on even if you're doing nothing different than you were before. You've got to fight against the metabolic changes that just happen as we age. So I have really enjoyed um, moving in about 2012, I started moving into personal fitness and personal training, nutrition, and those kind of modalities. And I've really enjoyed that. It's been a good change. It's allowed me to take care of my family's needs. I have two little kids now. And it's just something that keeps me moving with clients, which means it keeps me moving and learning about my body as well. And it's important that you have both things. Fitness and nutrition work together like the two wheels of a bicycle, right? If you've got one that's completely flat, well, you can pedal and pedal, but it's going to be very hard to get somewhere. And so it's important that you're working on both of those at the same time. Um, for me, working in the hospital was probably the thing that started to first feed my passion on being more fit and having better habits, having a different mindset seen someone struggle with overt weight, and I, I'm not talking about 30 extra pounds, but overt weight, your life can become very small and very hard and difficult. And so it made me realize that little habits can be good and move us forward, or little habits can be bad and move us to a negative place in life. But it usually starts with small, frequent applications of a habit, whether it's good or bad. Um, so looking at COVID-19 here in 2020, it's impacted my business. I think gyms have gotten hit very hard. Being private, it's been helpful. I did go to Zoom platform for online training for a couple of months and it was wonderful. I've kept several ladies have stayed that way because whether for their health or their family's health, they need it. What a great opportunity. You'd be amazed what you have at home that could help you be fit. For instance, gallon of milk, eight pounds, bottle of water, one pound, broomstick with two gallons on it, 16 pound dumbbell now, you know, or 16 pound barbell. Um, your chair, oh my goodness, we can do so much with a chair. You just don't have to have any special equipment. I'll have you gather a few things and we could do a great workout. I guarantee we could do a great workout over the TV as it were. But we have moved back to the gym as well. If you're thinking of coming in, um, my gym has always been very clean and feminine and 
simple and it still is and more so now. I do wear a mask while you're training, you do not. Um, and we sanitize everything that we used at that time for, before the next client comes in. So it does work out very well. If you're thinking about virtual training and you have questions about it, please contact me. If you're thinking about coming in and doing a live session, contact me. We do have uh, different events coming up at different times. We're starting our first virtual 5K running group that will be doing a race in December, and I'm sure there'll be more later on in time. So think about investigating Go180 Fitness. You know, things are always changing here. I hope to continue to always educate myself and learn and grow. Um, I had two C-sections and a very wide diastasis. If you don't know that is, great, because you probably haven't had it. But sometimes with pregnancy, you have a, a spreading apart of the abdominal muscles and that thin fascia gets stretched. It's almost like having a hernia this way. <laughs> and you, there's a lot of exercises you should not be doing. It will not help you heal, it'll make it worse. And it can take a long time to resolve that, even with effort. And so many surgeries can give diastasis, and pregnancy definitely usually can lead to diastasis if you're not careful. So just these kind of things have led me to take, I'm taking a class right now on postpartum corrective exercise. And you know, getting certification in that area is just growing that knowledge for me. I really have enjoyed it. So think about what you'd like to do. If you'd ever like to try us out, we've got some solutions for your needs. You can give me a call at 910-612-0853. You can find me on my website, if you're probably watching that video there, go180.com, it's go-180.com, or my email, melissa, M-E-L-I-S-S-A, -S at go180.com. So melissa at go-180.com. Hope to see you in the gym.